following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm going to be talking about Chaparral's Suncoast series. It's been around for about two years, and it's their outboard division. However, they needed a boat to bridge the gap between the 210 and the 250, so they created this, the 230 Suncoast. Let's start our look by taking her out in the water and see how she performs. The Chaparral 230 Suncoast has a length overall of 22 feet 10 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 32 inches. With an empty weight of 3,500 pounds, full fuel and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 4,350 pounds. With a Yamaha F200 XB outboard turning a 14.5 by 15 prop, we reached a top speed of 44.7 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Her best economic cruise was reached at 3,500 RPM and 23.3 miles per hour. At that speed, we were burning 5.6 gallons per hour for a range of 264 miles, all of course while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 70 gallon fuel capacity. With the extended V-plane that carries the running surface well past the mounting point of the engine, we reached planing speed in 3.7 seconds with little to no bow rise, then accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and continued through 30 in 8.3. With her reverse chines, she tracked well during turns, but trimmed down before entering those turns. Otherwise, there's just a bit of prop ventilation. She slices well through light chop and wakes. Offshore, we had to keep throttled back as the building seas did manage to cause a bit of bow slap at high speed, but this is to be expected in an open boat with a 20 degree dead rise. In protected water, she was great fun. With the docile handling, she's an ideal boat for loading up with people and certainly an exciting water sports platform on a family level. Our first glance at the 240 Suncoast showed a hull with a beautiful finish and molded in contour lines. Now the 230 is referred to as a deck boat, and by definition that carries the beam further forward which gives us plenty of open space at the bow. In fact, between the bolsters we go from 6 feet 1 inch to 4 feet 9 inches. Naturally there's storage underneath the seats and notice the cushions are held in place by articulated hinges. Fully forward is a built in insulated cooler. With the forward cushion removed, we've got to step up to the foredeck where we have a concealed anchor locker and four-step B-tree boarding ladder. I appreciate the lift and lock latch on the hatch. In the closed position, the nav light rotates out of the way so that we can have the anchor road going right across without damaging the light. Now also notice how the hatch is held open by friction hinges, but I would like to see it be able to open all the way so it lays flat against the deck. That way nobody's going to put pressure on it and create a warranty item years down the road. Over to the side, got a shower for cleaning off before we come aboard. The standard LED docking lights are a nice touch. Now we're already starting to see some upscale features on this boat, plus it's equipped with the optional deluxe package that includes the stainless steel bow scuff plate, the pull-up cleats, stainless steel speaker covers, the water toy inflator, the leather wrapped steering wheel, the bow filler cushion, an aft deck treated with flexi teak and a galvanized anchor can be fully forward. Now a pedestal table can go with the bow but we've got it currently in the cockpit area so let's take a look at these features. Now with a boat designed for entertaining so many people, 12 in this case, seating and storage has to be the order of the day and in the cockpit that's well taken care of. The helm seat swings around, a center seat can go into the walkthrough and notice how the observer seat also has a flip seat back to further accommodate all of this seating. And I like how the bolsters are rounded in the corner so you can take advantage of sitting all the way back into the corner. And you can easily see how with the table in place we've got a convenient location for snacks, dining or docktails. Of course there's the usual index storage, but what's unusual is the chaparral treatments. The heavy duty stainless steel latch, padding underneath so we eliminate rattling while we're underway gas assist strut, padding underneath to protect your boards. And notice how the entire opening is gasketed, leading water down and overboard. The upscale features continue with the upholstery. This is 36 ounce vinyl, which is among the thickest in the industry. It's got a 10 mil top coat, which gives us stain and UV resistance. Triple French stitching with a backing underneath the seam. And notice how they're using two tones. The bimini top adds some much needed shade and notice that this one even includes the forward windscreen, all standard. With the seat back flipped aft, now we have a forward facing observer seat. Just ahead, double latch keeps the console closed and inside is a head compartment. 
The hanging rod is standard. Everything else is optional, including the opening port light, the vanity with sink and storage, the wood flooring, and your choice of either a porta potty or a pump out toilet. The helm is a soft tone to knock down any glare, but even still, there's an upholstered brow above the optional Garmin 7 inch display. Clutter is kept to a minimum thanks to the dual digital gauges. Rocker switches are all backlit. The steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base. And notice how the logo in the center spins so it remains upright when the wheel is turned. But my favorite feature is the deluxe bucket seat. Not only is it very comfortable, the controls are right at the front, clearly marked, so you don't have to hunt for them by looking underneath the seat. And, of course, it's got a flip-up bolster. Now, for operating on those chilly mornings, we, of course, have the walkthrough that can be closed off with an air dam and the walkthrough windshield. And in this position, we can also see that we have access to the storage underneath the console that's got dedicated storage for the pedestal table. Now, taking a look at the platform, it's unique in that you can get to both sides easily enough and walk fully around the front. So we also have ease of maintenance on the engine. To the starboard side, a lift and lock latch gives us access to the three-step reboarding ladder. Just ahead, we have two seats. Underneath, we have a battery and battery switch access. I'd like to see inserts go into both of these positions so that we can also use them as storage. With both of these closed, we can see that we've got a stereo remote fresh water shower and I also like the convenient touch of having fuel fills to both sides so it doesn't matter which side we pull up to the dock on plus we can open them both and ventilate the tank as we're filling it for a faster fill. Well clearly we've got a family friendly boat with great functionality plenty of room and it can be powered by up to 250 horses. It's the Chaparral 230 Suncoast and that's my full look for BoatTest.com. I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.